Hi, I'm Oscar from RayX, and uh, what I'm doing is some R and D works for uh, privacy solutions to the blockchain network. So, uh, this blockchain protocol is also the privacy preserving blockchain. So, I'm happy to be here to talk about it. Uh, let's start off by briefly uh, defining what is the privacy in the blockchain context. Uh, we can think a whole blockchain system can be composed mainly two parts. Uh, networking layer and uh, blockchain layer. And uh, just in this my talk, uh, let me define the uh, privacy feature itself uh, can be mainly composed also the confidentiality features and uh, anonymous features. Uh, confidentiality for the networking layer means uh, hiding a transit matter, and uh, anonymity for the networking layer means uh, uh, hiding IP addresses. Uh, whereas the confidentiality for the blockchain layer means uh, hiding transfer amount. So when you send a uh, transfer token in the Ethereum, so everyone see how much you send is available to data. And uh, anonymity for the blockchain layer means uh, uh, hiding a transaction graph. So again, when you send a transaction, uh, everyone see the transaction where it come from or where to go. So in this my talk, I'm going to focus on the privacy features for this uh, blockchain layer. Uh, in the Bitcoin, when you send a transaction uh, to the uh, blockchain, uh, and when you send a tran uh, send transaction to the send blockchain, uh, it will be attached to one uh, sender's pri private key, a uh, public key, and uh, to verify the signature correction, to verify the correctness of the signature. But it always reveals that the transaction where it come from. And uh, so in order to avoid that uh, type of the data leakage, uh, in the money I use is a special signatures called uh, ring signatures. And uh, ring signatures basically allows it to be attached not just to one uh, sender pri uh, private key, uh, but uh, multiple some uh, uh, dummy public key. And these keys are fetched from the money blockchain network. And uh, uh, these keys are also selected uh, in the input selection algorithm. And uh, so the ring signatures basically ensure that uh, it's signed by one private key corresponding to one of the ring members public key. And uh, as a key works as a dummy private key. So this, uh, in this picture, the red one is only a uh, sender actual uh, private key. And other keys are works them, dummy uh, private key. And uh, this is a way to authenticate the, uh, to give the anonymity feature for the send address in the money protocol. And uh, for give the uh, confidentiality features to the money, uh, send the value commitment uh, instead of the low data of the value. And uh, it will be attached to the range proofs based in the, the knowledge proofing systems. And it uh, will be uh, provides the variety of the within that uh, uh, value is in the valid range. And uh, the final is uh, the service is works as the uh, anonymity features to give the uh, uh, recipe and addresses. Uh, in the Zcash is also the uh, like the UTXO like model in the blockchain, and the idea is that uh, the uh, uh, the market tree uh, not commitment is accumulated into the market tree, and uh, uh, it works like a UTXO set in the blockchain. So that uh, uh, sender do, uh, don't send that uh, uh, actual. Value and it will be uh, committed to the amount commitment, and so uh, it will be hired to the uh, actual um, amount. And the uh, yeah, important thing is that uh, this commit um, this uh, market tree is only additive. So if sender uh, do a payment, uh, it uh, it not uh, uh, update that the amount commitment. Uh, instead, uh, it will be added to notify your data. Uh, which is uh, unique and uh, linkable to the uh, specific uh, consuming commitment, and that notifier data will be added to the notifier set, global notifier set, and which is uh, uh, to uh, prevent from the double spending. So that uh, the next uh, prove that 
all these computational processes are, are correctly done or without revealing the sensitive data, uh, such as uh, uh, sender's private key and uh, actual transfer amount. So these are uh, major uh, privacy focusing blockchain of uh, uh, UTXO based approach. Uh, but how can we achieve these features in the account based approach? So it means uh, how can we achieve that uh, confidential features for so when you send a transaction or how can we achieve the anonymous features for uh, when you send a transactions? So that's a why uh, of the ZeroChain. Uh, ZeroChain is a privacy preserving blockchain and supporting the account based approach. And uh, we are currently not on top of the Ethereum, uh, we are on top of the substrate. And uh, we are uh, especially providing the some substrate uh, on chain logics called the substrate modules. And, uh, uh, some toolkit for protecting sensitive data, uh, which is stored on chain. And uh, oh, let me jump into my the privacy uh, solutions uh, in the zero chain. Uh, uh, let me talk a little bit about the, what the substrate is. Uh, substrate is basically a blockchain framework, uh, which is developed by Parity Technologies, and. Uh, uh, Parity, uh, the uh, substrate provides a. Uh, basic blockchain component, or such as a database so in the blockchain for storing transactions and peer-to-peer uh, -peer networking to gossip the state transitions in the blockchain network and uh, consensus mechanism uh, to provide the uh, incentive mechanism into the blockchain network and trans transaction queue and so on. And uh, these uh, blockchain component might be most uh, complex and uh, difficult part when you build it uh, your own blockchain. Uh, but uh, if you build it on the substrate or you don't need to uh, implement these complex, complex components, so all you need to do is that you just build uh, some substrate modules and substrate runtime. And uh, this is a uh, uh, way to, to configure the substrate modules into the uh, substrate runtime. Uh, the, there are a bunch of substrate modules, and this, uh, each module uh, provides a specific uh, features, uh, such as uh, uh, the timestamp module provides just a timestamp uh, into the uh, blockchain, and the balances module provides the managing the funds balance to the blockchain system. And especially, uh, uh, we are providing the, some privacy force focusing modules, uh, such as uh, uh, encrypted balances module provides a uh, way to the confidential transfers in the uh, runtime, and the anonymous balances module provides uh, uh, anonymous transfers into the uh, runtime. And uh, this is the trend overview. Uh, again, we are top of on the top of the substrate. And uh, the change of our architecture is the implementation of the ZSER. And uh, also, we use the ZK Snacks as uh, their knowledge proving systems. And uh, we can, uh, on top of it, we can build uh, privacy oriented applications top of the ZeroChain protocol, uh, such as a confidential and anonymous payment applications, and uh, uh, privacy features, financial systems applications on top of the ZeroChain protocol. And uh, what is this? Uh, this uh, is a, a paper published by uh, Benedict Vincent in earlier this year. And it is uh, the best area of efficient, free, decentralized, and uh, confidential payment mechanism. All that is uh, compatible with a smart contract platform. And uh, the basic idea is that uh, common fix scheme, encryption scheme hide all transfer amount and account balances. And uh, also, it takes a account based approach uh, for the reason of the efficiency and some usability. And uh, so, we can avoid the uh, UTX accumulations in the on chain. And, uh, but uh, the original this I use is a Sigma thread uh, called uh, uh, Sigma thread, which is uh, kind of the knowledge proving systems. Uh, but we use uh, instead ZK uh, Snacks. But the statement itself with the ZK Snacks are based on this protocol. 
Uh, but why we use ZK Snacks? Uh, because one of the problem of the anonymous ZSA is so expensive. So we want uh, more uh, small proofs and uh, efficient and succinct verifications in, in terms of the, the knowledge competition. And also ZK Snacks has a, a, a great community and a lot of projects using ZK Snacks libraries and uh, they are existing a lot of the uh, awesome libraries for ZK Snacks. Uh, but as you know, the one of the downside is the necessity of the trusted setup. And uh, but these days, some uh, there are some solutions and some modifications uh, to uh, to the uh, trusted setup. Uh, one thing is that much battery computation, which is done by the Zcash protocol, and uh, some universal and update uh, service, so which is uh, a lot of research I've been doing uh, recently. And uh, how it works uh, actually in the confidential transfers uh, on chain. Uh, let's think the simple case that uh, Alice sends uh, encrypt three coins to Bob. So uh, again, we uh, take the counterparty approach. So on chain, uh, we, uh, Alice has 10 coins and Bob has five coins uh, currently. And but obviously, it reveals that uh, uh, everyone see how much they have now. So in order to hide it, uh, we need to encrypt it, those uh, amount uh, by the lifted Elgamer encryption. And uh, this uh, encryption scheme uh, has a homomorphic property. So uh, we can uh, calculate with uh, encrypted wallet. So Alice sent uh, encrypted three coins to, to the transaction. And uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, is added, this will be added to the uh, balances and subtracted from the uh, RS's balances. And uh, uh, we can calculate it uh, on chain with uh, all cipher text way. So uh, no one can see those actual amount in the on chain. And uh, of course, Alice can see her own balances by using her decryption key, which is one of the private key. So this is a uh, whole uh, basic idea of the confidential transfer in the uh, the chain. Uh, but the problem is that uh, how a blockchain node can validate this uh, encrypted amount. Uh, I mean the. This uh, encrypted uh, three coins looks actually just 640 byte array. So uh, I just need to convince that this uh, 640 byte array is actually encrypted three coins uh, by uh, encrypted correct, correct en encryption key. So in order to achieve this, uh, we use ZK Snacks. <coughs> uh, because uh, ZK Snacks basically uh, provide provide some proofs that the statement, uh, some statement is actually correct. So in this context, the statement, is, uh, the transfer amount is within the valid range. So that the transfer amount is not a negative amount or the not overflowed. Or sender has enough balances. And uh, uh, it's encrypted by the correct encryption key. So if this uh, statement is actually correct, and uh, uh, ZK not reveal the uh, uh, not reveal the actual amount or uh, sensitive data such as a, a private key. And uh, if this statement is actually correct, the verifier function on chain returns true, and we can validate it on the on chain. And uh, the, in the case of the anonymous transfers. Uh, the uh, all processes are similar to the confidential transfers, uh, as uh, I explained earlier. Uh, but the difference is that some, uh, some dummy addresses and some encrypted amount will be added into the uh, transactions. So this is a similar way to the uh, Monero's approach, uh, because uh, it will be obfuscated uh, because of the dummy data. So the uh, point is that uh, uh, so people cannot tell the difference between the uh, actual data, such as the recipe and the sender <coughs> and the uh, dummy data. And uh, as for the uh, on-chain operation, after verifying uh, uh, the uh, verifying function, 
Operating the encrypt balances uh, will be uh, calculated in the on chain, and these uh, changes will be the uniformly. And uh, this uh, encrypt and uh, encrypt amount for the dummy addresses is uh, actually uh, encrypt zero value. So uh, the dummy addresses for the encrypt balances will not change the for the uh, actual balances. Uh, this is change just cipher text. And uh, this is a uh, uh, benchmark of the uh, the chain. Uh, as you see, the uh, co constraint size of, <coughs> of the ZKS is a constant against anonymity size because of the uh, accumulated approach, uh, which is I explained earlier. Uh, whereas the uh, constraint of the chain uh, grows linearly against uh, the anonymity size uh, because uh, we need to utilize. Sure. Yep. Uh, it's anonymity size in bits. What's the anonymity size? Oh, anonymity size is uh, oh, anonymity size is a number of the anonymity set. So in this so in this picture the forty. Sorry. Forty set anonymity set forty. Yes. It's quite small. Oh yes, but uh, uh, I, I want to conf I want to compare the uh, against the ZKS con uh, constraint and the chain constraint, so it's small. Yeah. So the the, the uh, constraint of the zero chain grows linearly against uh, the anonymity size, so that uh, uh, that zero chain constraint takes over around uh, twenty six and twenty seven. Oh, uh, in the ZKS uh, uh, constraint and the size. And uh, uh, as a reference, uh, uh, anonymity size in the model is uh, 11 currently, and uh, uh, we can achieve, uh, the chain achieve can, uh, the anonymity feature level of the uh, model with uh, half of the ZKS constraint, that is uh, uh, 50,000 uh, constraint. So by the way, the constraint is uh, uh, computational comp complexity in the uh, the energy grouping. And then the next thing I, I would like to talk about is the alterability for the privacy coins, and uh, namely the selective disclosure, uh, because for real world usage or some enterprise usage, alterability is so important aspect. And uh, uh, because uh, uh, it will be need to comply with some regulations and need to be some protecting from the uh, right anti money laundering. So uh, it means that appropriate entity should be able to audit certain users' money flow in the financial time use cases. And uh, in order to achieve that, such uh, uh, auditability features, or we prepare some key component uh, for getting the auditability. And there are a bunch of key pairs, uh, but the uh, important key is this decryption key, uh, because uh, all the transfer amount and uh, encrypted balances will, will be encrypted in the, uh, this encryption key. And uh, uh, if user pass this decryption, decryption key to some auditors, auditors can decrypt the, the it by using this decryption key. Uh, but the auditor cannot uh, spend their users' coin because uh, uh, they don't have the spending key. The decryption key cannot be uh, spending key cannot be derived from this decryption key. That's one minute. One minute. Yeah. <coughs> so, as a summary, what is a good point of the uh, gut based approach? Uh, the first obvious thing is uh, on chain storage friendly. Uh, because uh, or you can implement the UTXO based approach into the smart contract, uh, but uh, uh, it's so expensive. Uh, you need to all UTXO set and uh, all spent transactions, such as verifier data, need to be uh, stored into the smart contract. And also, we can achieve the confidential capital token in the account based approach. Uh, for example, or if so uh, if you want to uh, prove that Alice cannot have the security tokens over 4% of the total supply, 
in the confidential manner. Uh, but in the UTXO-based approach, uh, you need to uh, accumulate and collect all of the uh, UTXO set on chain, so it's too expensive. And uh, it's easy. Uh, it is way, way easy to get uh, all the BT features uh, in the account-based approach. Uh, because in the UTXO based approach, all the need to try uh, try to decrypt all the server text, including the whole history of the transaction, and so it's uh, it's too expensive. And uh, but uh, in the account based approach, uh, all it uh, just uh, oh, fetch the specific uh, or oh, encrypt the balances from the blockchain network and uh, decrypt it and get the single latest value. And uh, so the, uh, we are all open source uh, our implementation of the zero chain and uh, implement our implementation is written in last and but it's uh, under development for the production ready. Uh, you can check uh, our the page axcon slash zero chain. So and uh, this is a, a demo. Oh, so we have the uh, seven hundred uh, one thousand coins now, and uh, uh, left hand side is uh, running the zero chain node running locally, and the right side is a uh, 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 desktop client on the desktop, and uh, I'm gonna send one hundred coins to Alice and submit it and calculate it uh, to the Zenage proving and some encryption scheme and verify it in, within the zero chain node. <coughs> and uh, the uh, uh, transfer amount will be subtracted from my balances and uh, I'm gonna change the uh, default uh, addresses to the recipient addresses. <laughs> so I'll check and uh, we can, our can get 100 coins. Thanks so much.